coral start their lives as a single polyp glued down onto the reef substratum. Over time, corals grow into large colonies by building new polyps next to existing polyps to form a colony. Over time, more and more polyps are added together, forming a colony of adjoined polyps. The way the polyps are joined together and the structure of the coralites determines the shape of the colony. There are lots of different ways that polyps can be joined together and many different coralite structures. In this example here, we can see coralites with separate walls. We have our coralite opening or calus surrounded by a wall and a gap between the walls of the adjacent coralites. Coralites can also have shared walls, as we see in this example here. We have our calus or coralite opening and the wall between adjacent coralites is shared. In this species, there's just a single polyp or coralite mouth within each set of walls. Corals can also have shared walls though that we call polycentric, which means there's multiple polyp mouths occurring within the same set of walls. You can see that in this example here. Each of these red circles indicates a different coralite or a separate polyp and they're all lined up within this single set of coralite walls. All of these different ways of arranging polyps eventually mean that corals can take on different growth forms. You can see the many different growth forms that corals can adopt in this picture here. First of all, we have our encrusting corals that form a thin film over the reef substratum. We have folios or vase shaped corals free-living corals which aren't attached to the reef, mound-shaped or massive corals with a solid skeleton, branching corals and also columnar corals. We'll go through these different coral morphologies one by one to see how they grow.